Hi, this is Joni, holistic health teacher, coach, and consultant. Today we're talking about fighting aging and disease with plants, polyphenols to be precise. My intention here is to share this work with anyone seeking guidance toward better whole health at this time. For the last few days, I've been food focused here on this channel as I'm working from the very beginning of the journey toward whole health, now working off of the introductory playlist linked below. Today we ask, what exactly are polyphenols? Polyphenols are phytochemicals, meaning they are created by plants. These are the chemicals that give foods their different and dark colors, such as dark fruit and berries, grapes, coffee, and one of my favorites, raw cacao. Polyphenols are the reason that foods like wild blueberries, pomegranate seeds, and acai are often touted as superfoods. Scientists and doctors first noticed that people with polyphenol-rich diets generally had better health. Then, these nutrient-rich diets showed to be great at fighting diseases, including the big degenerative ones, such as cardiovascular disease, cancer, and cognitive decline. So you may be familiar with antioxidants. These foods rich in polyphenols are hyper-rich in antioxidants. Antioxidants combat oxidative stress and inflammation, which are two major factors of disease. So you've got stress plus inflammation, which leads to anxiety and depression, which leads to aging and disease. It's pretty much a straight path. <laughs> One disclaimer is that inflammation has gotten a bad rap in the wellness world. So keeping it super simple, we do need inflammation to happen at times, like when we break an ankle. But what we're trying to combat is the unnecessary inflammation throughout the entire body due to poor eating habits. This is the type of inflammation we're addressing when we're assessing basic components of your holistic health. Getting back to polyphenols, the, chemi the chemical compositions vary, but in a nutshell, here are some of the benefits very quickly. Reducing aging, improving weight management, balancing blood sugar, which is especially important for anyone who's diabetic or pre-diabetic, improving gut health, promoting good heart health, fighting cancer, combating cognitive decline, reducing that oxidative stress I mentioned, and reducing inflammation, which I also mentioned. The one thing we can always remember is to eat more plants Include a wide variety, as many as you can in number, and in a rainbow of colors. And boom, there you go. You've already increased your intake of polyphenols. You don't even need to know what they are. <laughs> and you're visually on your way to looking a little bit younger, too. Nutrition is a fledgling science, so we have figured out a lot, especially over the last decade or so. But there will always be trends to be wary of, layered with changes and shifts to come. The one thing we do know is that we can 100% count on plants to support a sound mind and a healthy body. If you're new to this channel and your path toward better physical, mental, and emotional health, because they're all connected, click on the introductory playlist popping below right about now. If you've received support from this channel, please subscribe and share with anyone in need. Our health is truly our wealth, and it really is up to us, now more than ever, to reclaim what's ours. We need your healthy body and clear mind, now more than ever. If you'd like to book a guided session with me, please do so by contacting me via my website linked below. As it always happens, the new year is filling quickly, but also please be careful about the pressure the new year puts on us. Starting this journey exactly when you are ready is how you will truly create lasting change. Add in more plants and be well.